So in this video I'm going to connect up um, shifters, front and rear derailleurs, uh, the frame obviously, I've got the handlebars, I've got the connection tool down there by the handlebars, three E-tube wires, I've got the junction box A, the EWU1111, um, Bluetooth um, uh, inline adapter thingy and the battery. So I'm going to connect all those up and then we're going to live update the firmware on the DI2 stuff. Let's see if it works. Um, unfortunately I can't power this up because um, the battery needs charging. Um, these are the bars I'll probably end up using. As you can see I've already threaded um, a wire in through there, through the bars and it comes out to the other one. So that is that cable. That's the cable we're substituting. So I'll charge those up. Hello, welcome back. Um, we're about to uh, try and update this. So I've had it on charge um, with my Shimano charger for about two hours, taking it out. Um, that's the bar end plug. It's all uh, connected as it was, iPad. So what we're going to do first is enable Bluetooth. There it is. Uh, then we're going to load up the YouTube app. Uh, reading says it's reading something. Okay, this app utilizes uh, the passcode is six zeros. So. What we're going to do is enable uh, transmit. Okay, that's enabled. Now we're going to press this. There it is, straight away. So let's pair with this one. And it wants a number one, uh, zero, 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 pair. Change the pass key, or well, there is a risk. Uh, after making the changes, delete connection information from settings Bluetooth. If connection is not deleted, it will be renewed, preventing a connection from being established. Okay, I'm just going to change that um, now. Okay, so it says, new firmware for the wireless unit has been found. Updating will begin. So we'll press tick. Firmware for the unit is being updated. Hmm, I wonder how long this is going to take. At 0%. It's 1%. Ooh, I've got a feeling this could take a very long time. 2%. Oh well, while it's uh, updating, I'll keep you posted. Um, let's uh, have a look round. I still haven't decided if I'm going to run the back brake through there. What I'm going to, what I want to do is pair this wire onto this one, just and uh, get some shrink wrap around it, or maybe uh, some cable ties or whatever just to tie them all together I don't really like a lot of cabling around the front um, but obviously as you know um, internal cable bikes are a bit expensive especially if you want to hide all of the cables that come in you know you can get them over the top of your stem and into the frame and through here and then through through everywhere but um, that's probably a little bit expensive for me on my budget so um, you've probably seen I've got my brake cables now, so I'm going to be threading those up pretty soon. Um, it's actually on to 10% as we speak. Um, what I'll probably do for the sake of the video is... Uh, is um, either speed it up or... Cut it out. Oh, there's been an error. The Bluetooth connection was interrupted. 
Try connecting again. Now, I'm going to say, because this is a really old iPad, it may be that the error is due to the iPad. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is turn off the video, update it on my phone, which is new, and come back to the iPad, hopefully. See you in a bit. Okay, as you can see, we're back. Um, I was right, it was an error with the um, iPad. However, um, I couldn't actually do anything. After that error, I couldn't do anything with my DI2. Levers didn't work um, at all. The buttons didn't work. The junction A didn't work. I was getting a bit scared. So what I did was I disconnected the battery, connected the battery in again, this lit up. I then used my phone to update the firmware of this. It took about 70 seconds and it was done. Um, so then I've put it, put my iPad back on and um, this is what we've got. So we've got, uh, it looks like we've got update firmware. Let's use that one. Okay, so here's all the things that need updating. And my battery needs updating, my front derailleur needs updating, my left shifter, my right shifter, my rear derailleur, and that has got the latest firmware. Right, now, do I press update all on my iPad or do I do it on my phone? Mm, it's tricky. Um, uh, I'm going to update one on my on my uh, iPad. Hmm. Perhaps I shouldn't have done that. Oh well, we'll see now. We'll see now, won't we? Is it not percent? Now my phone started off really slow. Um, updating that firmware for this, it started up about. It went, well, this is quite quick, look. Look at it going up live. 11. Please get to 100. Wow, look at that. Okay. Oh, this is, uh, this is tricky because I don't want it to lose connection. So that is updating the firmware of the battery. That's actually quite cool. Um, okay. <clears throat> well, at least it's getting somewhere. I might uh, press the update all after this, just uh, to see. And this is quite interesting. Uh, oh, there's a little blue ring. I've just noticed there's a blue ring around it. Look. And as you can see, I've got my phone on the tripod. Tripod. Hi, give you a little wave. Um, uh, okay, so that is coming on. I wonder what happens when it gets to a hundred. Ninety. Okay. Uh, so the iPad's a little bit dirty. My boys have. Um, been oh I've moved the screen okay so that's all the components oh, that must be the junction box is it is that the four port junction box it might be so that is at 99% this is uh, this just flashed red and green it flashed together done okay let's update all and see what happens Update all. Waiting for update. I like this. Considering the shifters, I've just got my shifters. They're, they're out of date, look. The um, front mech is way out of date. Front Dralia 9017 and the rear Dralia 9017, they're way out of date. So, um, Okay, we'll just hold that there. We'll keep recording because I want to see what happens. 
this is quite interesting to me. Um, okay. This is pretty cool, updating your bike through an app. Updating the firmware of your bike through an app. Really strange. Okay, let's see if this flashes when it gets... Let's just pull this in, the right and left shifter. I'm going to hold that there, because that flashed when... Um, when the other one was updated. That's complete. Okay. So the front trailer is updated. This one's about to start. This one here. Rear trailer 9070. That's actually quite quick. Now, when the battery updated, that flashed uh, green and red just uh, once that I saw, because it was just out of the corner of my eye. I'm not sure why that flashed. Uh, but hey, so I've updated the battery, that's 50%. I don't want to cancel that, I think, because that would just be crazy. That's exciting. Okay. That seems to be stuck a little bit. There we go. That didn't flash. Now we've got this one which is the left shifter, the SDR8070. Left shifter. I'm hoping that's quite quick. That's flying up, look. Look at that. Left shifter, right shifter, they're both 3.0.1s. Yep, let's go around. Here we go. Oh, it stopped. Done. And this one. Right shifter. Nice. That is fast. Perfect. All done. Didn't flash. Right, um, right, guys, that's the end of that um, update, live update of the firmware. Um, I've just packed my bike away, as you can see. Anyway, um, like, subscribe if you like that video. Um, I'll have, um, I'm going to do a video next where we're going to adjust, um, looking at adjusting the settings of all the um, gearing for synchro shift and uh, stuff like that and we'll uh, we'll have a look at that together okay i'll see you on the next video take care bye